Hey everybody, I'm Hayden Blackman. I am the studio head and creative director at Hangar 13. And I'm Andy Wilson, and I'm the executive producer at Hangar 13. So today we're gonna take a look at the E3 trailer for Mafia 3, and as we go through it, we're just gonna try and point out maybe some little details that uh, speak to the larger story and some of the larger gameplay mechanics um, at play here. So the first thing to notice here is that this is uh, a Senate hearing. It, it obviously doesn't look like uh, the rest of the game in terms of the the filmic look we have here. And that's because a lot of the narrative we're telling through the lens of a documentary. So it's different characters talking about the events of 1968 and Lincoln Clay's war with the mob. In this case, it's a guy named John Donovan, uh, who's an ex-CIA agent. Um, and we went to great lengths to try and capture the, the just even the look and the sound of film from 1968. So this is what we call uh, the Night of Blood. Uh, this is our uh, kind of inciting event in the game. Um, where uh, Lincoln's betrayed by the Italian mob. Um, that was a really fun uh, and interesting uh, day of shooting because we had almost uh, the entire main cast together uh, for that day because it's such a, a pivotal event in the story. Uh, Lincoln Clay, our lead character, uh, has been betrayed by the black mob and he is effectively left for dead. Uh, all of his uh, adoptive family is effectively wiped out, but he is rescued by this character you can see now. Uh, Father James, who uh, rescues Lincoln, looks after him, brings him back to health, and that's kind of where the main events of the game then take off. Again, the game is set in 1968 uh, in our version of New Orleans, a city called New Bordeaux. Uh, Lincoln's a Vietnam vet, which we all tried to cram right in there in that, uh, that piece of the trailer. And specifically, 68 was a very uh, turbulent year, so we've got a lot of uh, major events obviously that happened during that year which we try and reference in the game at various points again just to sort of set that sense of time and place. Righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. So uh, the character you're seeing now is Cassandra. She's one of the three underbosses who you recruit over the course of the game. Um, one of the things about these underbosses that you'll see is that they're all very very different people. Um, they're from all kind of walks of life and this is one of the things that's key about Lincoln is that he's able to uh, unite this very, very kind of diverse group of people. Um, and then much of what follows is about how he kind of maintains those relationships. Again, this scene here is, is kind of from early in the relationship between Cassandra and Lincoln, and they're still kind of figuring each other out. The Lord's gonna come for your firstborn son. Nothing. A lot of what you're seeing here in this trailer too is a mix of cinematics and actual gameplay. Um, we are working very closely with 2K Check, um, developers from Mafia 2. They're doing a lot of our cinematics uh, for us, and uh, we're really, really happy with the way they've turned out. You do will bring any of them back. They go to the river where the water runs. It's another character from our kind of documentary interviews, a guy named McGuire. Uh, he's an FBI agent who has been chasing Lincoln Clay for most of his life. So he is your kind of reference point for uh, the sort of flash forward to, to uh, what happened during the events of Mafia 3. To figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. So this is, um, we saw very briefly there, the bayou. Um, and there's a couple of small shots in the, in the trailer from the different locations in the game. So New Bordeaux is a big city and it's also a very diverse city. So we've got uh, nine different districts and the bayou. Um, so everything from kind of the historic French Quarter, the bayou, the swampy kind of area, you know, this downtown district with this very kind of unique uh, themes to each of the districts in the game. So this is Burke. Burke is another one of the underbosses. He's the uh, head of the, or he's the head of the Irish gang in the city. Um, again, uh, at the beginning of the game, they're not friends. So uh, Lincoln really has to kind of go on this recruitment drive to try and uh, ally these these three people to his to his cause. I think this shirt is maybe the team's favorite piece of clothing <laughs> in the entire game. So uh, throughout the game we have a number of kind of set piece missions um, that uh, we view as kind of the, the tent poles of the game. Um, as you're playing through the game you'll uh, be engaged in lots of different activities and taking down the mob in lots of different ways but that often culminates into a big set piece mission. So they're you know images of, of Lincoln heading towards a cage match. Um, a little bit later, we'll see some stuff on a riverboat. Those are examples of some of our big set pieces. They're, they're often the kind of missions that drive the narrative forward, and particularly you'll find yourself kind of taking on more prominent characters, capos and lieutenants, and, and really doing some damage against the mob. This is the cistern, one of our drug dens. And here's Vito, 
hard at work. So Vito is obviously the main character from Mafia 2 and he returns in Mafia 3 as one of the three underbosses. And one of the interesting things is the diversity of the group of people that Lincoln has actually managed to pull together. It's kind of one of his talents, if you like, is to, is to unify these, these kind of groups of people. Um, and there's a friction there between all of these characters. They're not friends, they're allies with a, with a common cause. Again, this is uh, Sal Marcano. So Sal Marcano runs the Italian mob in uh, New Bordeaux, and he is uh, the one that kind of orders the death of the uh, black mob and sets Lincoln off on his uh, quest for revenge. Um, one thing with Sal, though, we really wanted to focus on making a character, a villain that uh, is a hero in his own story. So as you go throughout the game, you'll hear and, and discover things about Sal that um, really explain why he's done what he's done and what motivates him. So uh, we try and look at all of our characters as more than just kind of caricatures or, or two-dimensional archetypes. There's another one of our uh, main I don't want to give too much away here, but <laughs> another one of our characters, if you look closely in some of the earlier shots, uh, you might see a, a warboard or a hierarchy of the mob and um, uh, this character shows up in, in there as one of the uh, capos. One of the things you'll see with our driving is we're, we've stayed really true to the uh, driving model for Mafia 2, but we've amped it up a little bit. We're really trying to capture the sense of kind of Hollywood action driving, making you feel like you're a stuntman driving in a, in a Hollywood action film. And so the car has become a, a real centerpiece of the game. You use it, you know, not just to get around, but also as a weapon and in a, a variety of missions. Uh, we also have boating in the game, which you saw a quick glimpse of there. You also caught a few glimpses of the city itself there. The city's really a star in our game. The sense of time and place is really important to, to Mafia. We've put a lot of time and attention into making uh, New Bordeaux kind of drip with the feel of Deep South 1968, and, and you see that uh, throughout the game. We really treat New Bordeaux as its own character. Uh, it's really important to the Mafia franchise that we have a strong sense of time and place. So when we looked at New Bordeaux, we really wanted to make sure that it had diverse districts, um, that uh, it felt like a, a living, breathing place and, and a place that you wanted to explore and, and you know, again, experience the story. In. So there's a little glimpse at our, our riverboat. That's one of the other things that we're showing at E3 this year uh, is a, a mission that takes place on a riverboat, which again is a big set piece in the game. All right, there you have it. There's your look at uh, the E3 trailer for Mafia 3. We're incredibly excited about the game. Can't wait for it to come out and for everybody to get their hands on it on October 7th.